Hello, and welcome to Getting Started, Coding and Programming on TI Technology. This video will look at troubleshooting with the TI Innovator Hub. There is no need to charge the Innovator Hub. There is a power port as well as a power cable. Those are needed if you need additional power for a variety of projects. The hub itself runs off of the battery of either the handheld or calculator or your computer when running the software. When you plug in the calculator to the hub, a green light should stay illuminated. This green light lets you know that it is plugged in and there is electricity going from the calculator to the hub. If there is no green light, Double check your cables. Going into the hub should be the USB-B and into the calculator USB-A. There's no need to turn off the hub. Once the hub is disconnected from the calculator or computer, the power will go off. When coding, if you get a syntax error, double check the code. Usually it's something small like open and closed quotes, open and closed parentheses, double check periods, colons, semicolons, and or spaces that don't need to be there. If you're running a program and the hub seems to be in a loop or you get the wheel spinning on the Inspire CX, if you hold the home button down and enter multiple times, it will break the code. On the 84CE, hold the on key. If you're on a Windows computer, F12 and enter. And if you are on a Mac, F5 and enter. When you go to run a program, if the innovator hub beeps and you did not provide sound commands, there is usually an error in the code. Usually something was not defined, a time, an amount. Double check the code. Thank you.